The 12 young footballers and their coach, who remain trapped in the Tam Luang Cave in Chiang Rai, could be evacuated this week, according to the former Chiang Rai governor. However, rescue teams are less positive. Weather is a decisive factor. Heavy rains, high water tables and push may come to shove faster. However, the ideal options remain to keep them warm, fed and safe until it's practical to remove them. A miracle, perhaps, the tale of the discovery of the lads took another twist yesterday as the British diver who found them was revealed to have not expected to see them at all when he emerged from black waters in the cave. He'd been fitting guidelines for other divers to follow in the search when he came up for air, only to find 13 faces staring down at him as they spotted his headlamp in the murky waters. Previous to that, they'd been predicted to be some 400 metres deeper into the cave. In other news, on Samui, two Ugandans and a Thai woman have been arrested on charges that they swindled gullible Thai ladies out of money online. The old scam is still running, and it seems there are plenty of lonely ladies out there who fall for fake profiles on social media. Police found their passports to be expired and discovered bank documents revealing some 800,000 baht had been sent from four different women, all believing that love could be found on a chat board. In the latest of a series of raids on illegal immigrants here, one surprise is a Pakistani who topped the list with a whacking 1,240 days of overstay without a visa. Not a record that he should be proud of, as he now has to come up with the fine and airfare home before he's released from immigration jail. 61 others joined him this week in the now slightly overcrowded facility. The funeral is being held for a policeman who was shot dead by his heavily pregnant wife. She still faces the chance of charges, as her colleagues refused to believe that the policeman simply came home to their apartment and threatened her with a gun, only to accidentally fall over the balcony and her to shoot him. She fired eight bullets, three hit him, that was enough. Meanwhile at home and in Pattaya, Sunday the 15th is the annual Pattaya Marathon. Entries can be booked already for runners, and as always, the morning runs vary in length for juniors through to experts. Runners from all around the world are expected to take part, and with only 10 days to go, it's time to get practicing. Registration can be done at Pattaya City Hall or online at pattiamarathon.go.th. A dark side pub quiz last night saw the Loft team come in second, which was quite an achievement. The pub team was beaten by its only rival, a group of teachers. In the two-team quiz that saw Quizmaster Darren do his best to outsmart Einstein, while just surviving beratement for his lack of oomph. On a serious note, the game is on. It's new and it's improving. Any pubs or clubs that fancy some action, contact the Loft team. We may be the only English-language radio on the FM at the moment, but that doesn't excuse the poor transmission during the Roscoe show yesterday. The Emperor did his best, but the wires between here and California got a little twisted, with the result that the sound on his show got more than a little bit messed up. We apologise to Roscoe fans and promise that he'll be back to his fabulous best at the weekend. And with the Met Office promising highs today of around 33, dropping down to 29, and a chance of showers at some time. That is the local and national news from Fabulous 103 FM. Keeping you in touch with Thailand and, of course, Pattaya, the city of fun.